welcome back to our YouTube channel and for today's video I'm going to show you how I make my DIY mouse ball. So this one, I made this and also this mouse ball of my Singanyon Chia Pansy. Look at that. This one is for my Raffinophora Tetrasperma. There. And even the moss ball of my philodendron Gaiga Syngonium Albo, philodendron Milano Chrysim, and a lot more. So now I'll teach you and I'll show you the materials that we need. So this is what we need a pair of scissors, a cocoa bowl or cocoa rope rather, and then a PVC pipe. and a cable tie if you don't have cable ties you can use glue gun or you can use both cable ties and glue gun at the same time now for our guinea pig choss <laughs> guinea pig this is gonna be the plant where i am going to use my diy most ball this is the philodendron verocosm incensi that i got from ecuador and it's so already becoming a bit lush there and this is the oldest leaf that's why it turned yellow but if you're gonna think if you're gonna look at it it has a lot of babies and it's going a bit laggy now because it doesn't have a pole where they can crawl. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this old leaf. Once again, the reason why it's becoming a bit leggy because they don't have a pole or a wall where they can climb because this is a climbing plant and they need something where they, you know, can climb on. Using PVC pipe, as I've mentioned earlier, although you can use wood or wood plank though I'm not gonna encourage you to use metal because it will encourage rot what the there's a lot of noises sorry that's so disrespectful I know but yeah we're in the main road so sorry <laughs> and there's an event and the clubhouse to reason why there's a lot of vehicles passing by right now but anyway going back i'm not going to encourage you to use a metal because it will just rust in the long run and also the reason why i am using pvc pipe is because i'm using pond and laca in some of my plants as my medium right now and in Leka or in Pawn, the rule of thumb is no organic material apart from your plant. And of course, if I use wood or plank that's an organic material, so in the long run, it will just rot it because it's biodegradable. So unlike this one, it can just stand there all throughout without being rotten. Now let's start. Now to use the rope. I'm gonna set aside this first. It is just so easy, guys. This one. Just put it like this and then just roll it over <laughs> I 
and then it's done all we need to do is just put a cable ties here and here so that's the reason why you have cable ties now tight you can put one more if you want to or as I was saying earlier you can also use glue gun if you want to some people use glue gun And then cable tie to make it more matibay. To make it more for the last part, I'm just going to remove this. This is not actually necessary. I just don't like it to be touched. I just want it to be a little bit smooth in case that you will ask the coco row i just bought it from lazada it's like five row for just 80 pesos or five ropes for 99 90 pesos and plus shipping all good this is going to show you the final result once i already repot this in much bigger pot with this one because i am also going to root divide this if i could because there's so many bunch here in this pot and i will try to divide this into like two or three and well, let's just see the result. Bye. And now we're done. So this is the new look of my Philodendron Veracross and you can see with my DIY moss ball. So now, yeah, so this is the newly unfurled leaf here. It's almost unfurled rather there. So all, we, all I need to do is just give it some water and then it's good. So I hope that you like my video today and please do not forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel, my Facebook and Instagram account and I'll see you again on my next video. Goodbye!